Hello, tis your host as always, me, the mad reviewer Kiyoma. I'm just sitting further and further in the madness, I swear. So we're not even reviewing a show, we're looking at a show and usage of time travel. Yes, we all know my favorite subject is time travel. Time travel is one of those subjects that always makes sense in my mind if it's used properly. I've said time and again, time and again, time travel is like the biggest narrative cheat you can use. Because the moment you introduce time travel into your setting as a writer, you've created one of the biggest cheats. And it is very easy to break your setting or, or mess it up. Now you've probably seen the show and you're going, well, Plunder is still ongoing. Yes, well they just introduced time travel. Now this version of time travel is very tricky to write, but if it is used properly, it can be used good. And actually, it's one of the best forms of time travel. It's the self fulfilling paradox. It has always happened, will happen, and is unavoidable. Exactly, where's my head of Is that time's lying. You can't change it, will happen, these events have happened, and always will happen. You can become witnesses to the events and help trigger the events to events of what's to come, but that's the most you can do. You are literally a bystander. So, all these events that are going to come will always happen. That's exactly what Plunder just did. Now, I read a bit of the wiki, and the Wikipedia and looked up the version of Time Travel just to make sure they didn't pull that. Deus Ex? No, apparently, and also, it also makes sense because time travel in this setting is they have a count. And Nana, I believe it's Nana, she had the number like, I like six or seven, I like, can't remember, and her count went down. That means it's only one usage. One usage and it costs a price. So this is not something that can be easily spammed or used. It's a one use trick. And from what I understand, they are only allowed in that specific from they're only there for a certain set amount of time. They are not there for like the rest of their lives. No, they are there. She has transported them to the specific time and place for the specific amount of time. So there's only a fair amount of time that they're in this one line. Now they're going to see Lit, or Ritero, as we did before you became the person he is right now. This is the current time, okay, where we're at right now. 300 years later. So they've traveled 300 years in the past, but here's the thing. They've already been there. And you go, what do you mean? They've already been there. They are just unaware of the fact that they have already been there. Nana, Nana has already performed this trick once before. Because... My gather, they influenced events 300 years prior that still uh, uh, pertain to today. They make references that, you know, for example, when Lick is in berserker mode, he goes, thank you, um, oh God, uh, jail. Now, he's saying we're at war, we're at war. His mindset is still that in the past, when he had to do all the mass murdering to save his friends. Well, to prevent his friends from getting their hands dirty, as dirty as his will be. It's a common literature trope that you'll have the main and protagonist want to do the things the others don't want to do at the cost of his own. He'll get his hands dirty in the amount of the same. It's also worth noting the amount of people will get killed is insane! I did look it up, it's an insane amount of numbers. Like, you almost killed like half the populace on Earth. Wow. And the fact that you're going back to modern day Earth, and you're in fantasy setting. By the way, it actually does make sense of what they pulled, so yes. And they have made it so that in this timeline, airship is productive. Because if you use an airship, you would see you're on a floating landmass practically. I think that's what it is. I think that's what they did. Because I haven't read the manga, I'm watching the anime, but I'm aware of this time travel trick. So, in the show currently, what's about to happen is basically, you know, Lynn, the one dude, and Jail are all going to see the events that happened back here and that made Licked, Nana, and Tsunohara, which we know of, the people already right here. They cannot prevent this from happening. This will always happen. It is a straight line. They are literally now bystanders, and the most they do is influence the events and the people they are shaped to become in this timeline. That is how this one works. It also is worth noting 
they are only there for a certain amount of time, like I said, and then they come right back here. Because from what I understand, apparently, Ina says, you will have to wait 300 years before I am born. Which just immediately puts a massive curse on Lit. That was the massive screw you button, in my opinion, which is why he's rejected over a thousand women. So thank you for cursing him even more. And as I said, it explains why when Licht in this time period was fully aware of jail, even though his mind is reverted back to the past of when he is a monster killing machine. Because before, his mind set here is the, I would call him an innocent personality, so he probably would not be aware of jail. I mean, he's aware of the jail as innocent personality in this time period. But since jail now is, was in the time period back when this existed, he would be even aware of him then there. Makes sense. It's also referring in the Berserker State that just shows I like Jail's bit of character development that he's had. So we put this good aside. It's not a one note, you know, in rivalry character. No, that's actually more to Jail. Layers. Like he was willing to put his hatred aside and stuff like that to disobey the physical hands and go against what the government said to do that. It's also worth noting Nah, nah, nah. Not even tells the point like you wouldn't have done this in the past. So now I was already aware he was back here. So it's in her. Probably so it's lit. They who were born in this time period are not aware because they have not made the leap yet. So literally all the events that happened here, they weren't even born yet. So they had to go see the events, live through the events, and then get the character development to come back here. Like I said, self-fulfilling paradox, not an asshole. So, that's how this version of time travel literally works. I have reviewed Steins Gate. I am still trying to procure a copy of the video novel Steins Gate that I can stream on PS4. Then, I can literally talk about time travel properly. Because there are many uses of time travel. It is very rare that an author will pull off this trick properly. Now, Plunder, from what I understand, is only like... 59 chapters, so they could easily go down the gutter hole of this usage time travel. But if they stick to this one usage, time is a line, can't change it, these events will always happen, they always have happened, except jail, uh, hey, and all that weren't born yet here, but they had already been back here, and they just had to be born again for them to remember the events past, kind of like a prior life thing. If they pull that off properly, they will stick to this specific form, and stick to the fact that now it only has like two more usages left, and it comes at a cost. This is not a, a thing you can spam. You'll be fine. You'll get the pass, in my opinion. I'm going to go to the social detail right after this just to make sure this happened. But from what I understand for a quick read, this is how this is going to happen in the anime. Slight spoilers. I know of several events. I don't want to spoil anime only. But this is the form of time travel they are using. They get on a small channel, so if you do look at my time travel, this is the time travel they used. This is Kiyoma. I mean, the matter of your Kiyoma. I'm just sitting in the mask because I can't even remember my exact pin name. My, my yesterday. The, the matter of your Kiyoma, signing off. I have therefore explained the version of time travel Plunder is using. I would definitely check out the show. It's still ongoing. It's got 24 episodes. We're on episode 11 right now, so we should be going into the flashback arc that they were transported in. So you'll see all the events that led up to the one they are covering. Now... Would I recommend the show to watch? It's a slow burn. You go from action, 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 fan service, breather, action, 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 breather, 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 breather. Because you need to have these breather episodes before shit hits the fan. And then you can recover, breather, and then shit hits the fan. That's actually how this is basically being set up. Because you don't want constant being hit over the head, which is either action and tragedy. You need those briefer, lighthearted moments so you can just recover. Especially if you choose to bench the show. In my opinion, this show is best watched on a bench. Not a weekly basis, but benching. Have a good day. I'll give you a full review of Plunder when the show's over. But this is right now me explaining Plunder's use of time travel. Till then, this is your host, sign off.